without meditation is a day wasted. Yo, what up? It's Air Moses. Oh. A lot of people ask me this question, man. How what? do I meditate, Air Moses? Hmm. It's just so hard for me to meditate. It's just, I just can't do it. Now, what? the first solution is understanding what meditation is and how we all meditate every day. We do? Dang. Okay. Life is nothing but one long meditation. Let me say it again for the people in the back. What? Life mm. is one long, long meditation. meditation. Just like my mentor told me, what? all movements should be praised and made in a meditative, beautiful graceful way Ooh. okay mm -hmm. the point of meditation listen to this gems bars right here these are bars these are actual bars actual bars the point of meditation what is for us to be able to move mm -hmm. from one moment mm -hmm. to the next moment next. with peace peace grace grace and perfect balance perfect. bars oh, that was bars okay Mm -hmm. We do have to understand that everything in life that we do as humans mm -hmm. is either a ritual or a ceremony. Mm -hmm. And if you know anything about rituals, ceremonies, magic, what have you, mm -hmm. you do have to know and understand that in order to engage in a ritual what? or a ceremony mm -hmm. to get the best results, you have to be in a meditative state. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So... What do you do naturally that puts you in a meditative state? Walk, mm -hmm. read, read, drive, drive, having sex. sex. You gotta do that in a meditative state. Uh -huh. When we smoke, yeah. that's a meditative state. Yes, it is. Brainstorming, trying to think of something new, creative, yet logical, practical, yet innovative. Ooh, brainstorming. That's a meditative state, man. Yeah, facts. Unfortunately, when we watch TV and YouTube, and it's low vibrational energy, low. you gotta be in a meditative state. Yeah, yeah. Okay, right now, you're watching this video, you're listening to this voice. Mm -hmm. You're in a meditative state right now. Um, and we argue, man. Yeah. You're definitely in a meditative state. And if you like to argue as much as me, every gang, 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 then you know that feeling of being in that, that meditative state. Ooh, I'm about to say the worst thing I could think. This person's gonna be traumatized. And even if they don't think about it right now, I'm gonna whisper it so it stays in their subconscious mind. I'm gonna say it like this. They're not even gonna realize how much I hurt them for like another 30 minutes when the argument's over. Facts. And when we engage in hand to hand combat, man, ideally you're in a meditative state. Facts. Now, what we do have to understand is there are two types of meditations. There is a sitting meditation, sitting meditation, which a lot of people go to, mm -hmm. a sitting meditation or a conscious meditation, all right? And then there is the second type is a walking, also known as a moving meditation mm. or an unconscious meditation, unconscious. okay? Mm -hmm. So all of the examples that I just gave you, walking, reading, driving, um, those are walking AKA moving meditations. Brainstorming is a sitting meditation. You sitting down, mm, what do I have a taste for today? What am I gonna eat for dinner? Plus, you trying to recall somebody's name? What was that big head, little freaking stank breath ass having girls? Now? That is a <laughs> sitting meditation, bro. You're thinking. Meditation means to think. Man means thinker yeah. or meditator. Mm -hmm. One man means thinker of the womb. Or meditator of the womb. She meditates on her womb. Okay, this is where we get the word overreact from. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. No, you wasn't. I'm just playing. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, the reason that you need to be sitting down and thinking about what do you do, what do you consciously do to put yourself in a in an unconscious state of meditation. The purpose for that is for you to familiarize yourself and to gain confidence in knowing that you know what you need to be doing. When you are walking down the street and you think about some stupid stuff and you're, you're like, okay, wow, no, not that. I need to look both ways 
before I cross the street so I don't get hit by your car. Good idea. That's exactly what you need to be doing when you sit down and meditate. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down, okay? Look at a symbol. Think of a, a chant or an affirmation. I am more confident today than I was yesterday, and I will be more confident tomorrow. Great oh, affirmation, one of my favorites, okay? Breathe. Focus on your breath. Now some stupid stuff is going to come past your mind. You're going to think about Garfield, Lausanne, Lausanne, all kind of stuff. Trust me, you're going to think about some stupid stuff. It might be some deep-rooted stuff. It might be some, when he left me at the altar. I just, oh, I, it might be that. But it's important that you don't just throw those ideas and those, those, those thoughts away. You can think on it. 20, 30 seconds, no more than 30 seconds, but mm. you got to throw those away. You cannot analyze those thoughts. Observe them as if it didn't even happen to you. Observe them. You might want to smile at it if you can, if possible, and then refocus yourself. You don't have to sit and stare at a wall. You can take a picture of the eye of Horus or an onk or a picture of such set or segment tape it to your wall or better yet frame it so you can just put it at eye level ideally at eye level you don't want to be looking down you don't want to be looking up at eye level so you can use some of that willpower to focus on that image focus on the image and just breathe very important breathe put spaces in your breath think of yogic breaths if you've ever done yoga you know how to do yogic breaths that's another way that you need to be um, teaching yourself to meditate. Breathing exercises, mm. yoga, working out, walking, moving meditations, okay? Facts. In the middle of these things, I want you to ask yourself, how am I breathing? What am I doing with my body? Stop, okay? Just stop when you're walking and look at your body. Look at your feet. Look at your arms what position were you stepping right or were you stepping with the left when you stopped okay bring awareness to what you're doing when you're doing a push-up do it slow and feel it okay really inhale your life when you're doing these things okay you're very very simple so step one one Make a list of the things that you do consciously. Walking, eating, exercising. Make a, make a list. Five things that you do that is considered a moving meditation. Five things that you do more than once a week that is considered a sitting meditation. Brainstorming. Trying to recall somebody's name. Thinking about what you're going to do when you wake up the next day before you go to sleep. Okay. Asking yourself what you are going to do in what order. We all probably make lists of things that we're going to do every day. I do. Okay, I'm going to clean up. Then I'm going to do the laundry. Then I'm going to get in the shower. Then I'm going to do it. That's a, medit that's a sitting meditation. Facts. Okay. Mm -hmm. Five things that you do every day that's considered a walking meditation and a sitting meditation true then i want you to actually do those things do it i want you to do those things and i want you to merge your consciousness with your unconsciousness and your unconsciousness with your consciousness bars because that's what meditation is bro. you're sitting mm -hmm. you're focusing focus and you're letting whatever you do do okay you could be you can visualize yourself skateboarding. Yeah. You can visualize yourself flying. Fly. You can visualize yourself covered in the color purple and then programming it so you're protected from other people's unwanted energy. It's called you can do anything when you meditate. Anything. It's just thinking, bro. Think. If you're a smoker and you your phone is on 3%, 3%. you're in charge, but you still want to go outside and smoke and you're responsible. You are meditating. That's called a moving meditation. It's called that is the most common meditation I think people do besides walk down the street with no music. You just have to be aware. You have to be conscious of other things, your environment. Yeah. You have to be conscious of where you step so you mm -hmm. don't step in any fucking shit. shit. You have to look behind yourself. 
you have to look in front of yourself. You have to fucking think about what you're gonna get from the store. Right. How long it's gonna take you to get there. Right. The temperature. Yeah. Okay. All of that. All of that. All of that. All of it. So. So. The last step, I think. So we got do make a list. Uh huh. Do your walking meditation. Do walk down the street. You could listen to music. You cannot read a book. Read not a book. write. Not whatever you wanna do. Do your moving meditation. Do come it. home. Mm -hmm. Breathe. Breathe. Put your attention and your focus on a symbol. Ooh. Listen to your breath. Do it. Let those thoughts run through you. Don't emotionally react to it. Just observe it. Don't analyze it. Just observe it. Let it go. Treat it as if it didn't happen to you. Smile at it. Let it flow through you. Refocus yourself. Do it. Okay? Yeah. I recommend that you stare at us, that you meditate on a symbol. A symbol. Visualize yourself exercising. Mm -hmm. You can do that from a first person point of view or, or a third person point of view. Yeah. Visualize yourself looking in the mirror with that body that you want, with the big ass thudders. Big ass Easy. Thing. Easy. And then well, write down what you feel. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can even pray. pray. You can pray. I want you to sit down and I want you to write a small little prayer to yourself. To you. Four lines. Four. Easy. Easy. Four lines. Four lines. I want to thank you, Aaron Moses. Aaron Moses. For yeah. you are beautiful. Facts. Wise. Facts. And knowledgeable. Ooh. Facts. Every day when I watch your videos, it just makes me feel just all kind of feelings. Good. And I ask that you improve your life. Right. And you continue to grow. Read books. Get that money money. Get the money. And get you some sex. Some, some good sex. Not yeah. that mediocre microwave instant sex. Yeah. Some good macaroni uh -huh. with, with love in it, man. With, with sour cream Ooh. in it. Little bit of cheddar cheese in it. Ooh. Little bit of Swiss cheese in it. Ooh. Okay, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, a little pepper. splash of some hot sauce, Ooh. man. A little bit of milk in it, man. Milk? I, I must be hungry. You are. A little bit of broccoli in it, broccoli? man. Broccoli? And just, you know, continue to put some breadcrumbs some on bread it, crumbs. throw it in the oven, and continue Ooh. to get it popping. Ooh! Okay? Mm -hmm. Just pray to your, write a prayer to yourself and yeah. read it. Yeah. Write an affirmation with your name in it. Mm -hmm. I am Aaron Moses. Aaron Moses. I am healthy, happy, and free. And I love to be me. Times three, times three, times three. So motivated. Ideally, it should rhyme because it's just easier. It's gonna make you smile and it's gonna tap into parts of your mind that you don't typically use. Okay. Yeah. So that's it. That's it. If you're having problems with meditation, if you are ADHD or ADD, or you're coming off of some kind of drug and it's hard for you to focus, or your lifestyle changed. Just take these steps. I believe in you. It's not hard. That's not. I mean, you know what? I can't speak for that because I just naturally started meditating. And it wasn't hard for me. Because, you know. You know what? That's another tip. If you find it hard to meditate, stop hanging around with people who don't meditate. Stop. Because all of that erratic energy, all that chaos is having an effect on your mind. If you have a hard time meditating, what? then nine times out of ten, it's because people that you talk to all the time don't meditate. Bars. Simple. Simple. All my friends meditated. Yeah. They were consciously meditating when I started meditating when I was 18, 19. And yeah. I read a lot. Yeah. I read a lot. I smoked a lot of weed. Yeah. And I was a very angry child. That's a fact. So I had to uh, re do a lot of reflecting. <laughs> As a child in my day, you was on okay. punch. Not having a, a PlayStation in my room, you know, or a TV, or, or a, a TV. phone, <gasps> or just sitting in the fucking room, drawing oh. and writing and oh, so sad. fucking reading and just being depressed. Yeah, that oh. helped me learn how to meditate a lot. But that's it, man. That's it, man. Moses. Yeah. I'm the bang, you the bang, we the bang together. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait. Lastly, I want to say one more word from my mentor. A day without meditation what? is a day wasted. Bars. Base, base. <laughs>